If you don't know what a neuron is, let's try to clear some of that up now. We're going to need to know a little bit about neurons uh, in order to, to understand perception and consciousness. And that's because neurons are the building blocks of perception and consciousness. Neurons are the basic component of nervous systems, and they are cells, like any other cell in your body. Um, except neurons have some unique properties um, that make them slightly different from other cells that make them good for those roles that we talked about in the first video for um, transduction, transducing information, converting information from the universe, such as the energy of a photon, into some electrochemical currency of the nervous system. Uh, they're also good for transmitting, they're specialized uh, transmitters. Um, and once they get together in groups, and we'll see when we look at circuits of neurons, we'll see that they can perform quite complex processing tasks that allow them to make meaning out of the data that they receive. So there are many, many different types of neuron. If we look, um, this is a Google search for, for neurons. Here's a picture that might do us. This shows a bunch of different types of neurons. There are thousands of different types of neurons, but these, are, these all look like neurons we would find in the brain, yep. Um, but we'll look, we'll just introduce the basic neuron, and this is typically the, the basic neuron that we'll see in textbooks. We get introduced to this kind of thing first. But we could, we could break down our neurons. Let's have a look at the th three different types of neurons that, well, it's three different groups of, uh, that neurons are typically broken into. We could have sensory neurons. So a sensory neuron might ha be on, on one end of a sensory neuron, we would have the world, okay? And then we have the sensory neuron takes information from the world and, and transmits it to, to another neuron. This would be another neuron then, the next neuron. Uh, the, the, these sensory neurons could be light sensitive, touch sensitive, uh, all kinds of different neurons. I think I have some sensory neurons here. So these neurons, so you can see they're different from our typical neuron. Um, on one end, they receive information from the world. So these rone, uh, rod and cone cells from the eye would be light sensitive at this end, uh, and then they would pass, they would convert that light energy into electrochemical energy and be able to pass that on uh, via the tip. There, another neuron would be connected here. Those next neurons make up a class of, of neurons called interneurons. Interneurons. So interneurons are connected on both ends to other neurons. So if this one is our sensory neuron, this one is an interneuron because it's connected to a sensory neuron on this end, and we could perhaps have another neuron on this end, and we could have several there. Obviously, the majority of our nervous system is made up of interneurons. All of our brain is interneurons, lots of neurons doing processing, and this is where lots of processing goes on. And our third step, our third type of neuron, is the motor neuron. Uh, and we could have that over here. Um, and the motor neuron would be connected to a neuron on one end, and on the other end it would perhaps be connected to your hand or your finger, something, a motor function, your heart, say. And motor neurons receive signals from the nervous system and pass them on to muscles and tell muscles what to do. Uh, so these are our three types of neurons. So the processes that we'll really get to look at will be, we'll look at in the next video, we'll look at some of the processes around action potentials, that is the signal, the impulse, the electrical impulse that travels through a neuron, we'll look at that. And we'll also look at how neurons join together and pass information to each other using synapses. Uh, but for now, let's just get a bit of an idea of the anatomy of a neuron. This is the part of a neuron that is like any other cell. Let's go back to our Google image search, um, search for neuron. Um, in fact, let's also search for cell, see what we get, see what we get. So this is perhaps what we are familiar with with cells, these spherical shapes with our nucleus in the middle with DNA and so on, and lots of other organelles that help their cell to perform its, its functions and housekeeping roles and things like that and to respire and uh, keep it alive. Um, neurons are very similar. This is kind of, we're not cell biologists or molecular biologists, so we don't need to get this far in when we're talking about perception at the moment. Um, but a neuron has all of these functions. It has the nucleus, it has the organelles, um, but neurons anatomically have some structural differences. They have two 
uh, protrusions, these these uh, projections, these uh, um, this long tail here is one of them. This one is the axon, and we need to remember the axon. It's a very important part of the neuron. The axon is really the telephone wire of the neuron. It takes the signal from point A from its receiving end to its transmitting end. This is typically the receiving end, but there are no 100% rules in biology. And this is the transmitting end that would then pass that signal onto the neuron. And the axon is the length. Some axons in the brain are very, very short, just a millimeter or practically non-existent. Uh, but if, if you've got your receiving end is a, is a sensory neuron in the tip of your toe, when you stub your toe, the, the signal could travel down an axon um, that stretches many, many feet, three or four feet up, up your legs to your to connect to the base of your spine in a dinosaur's leg that would be even longer um, so axons can be very very long uh, and then um, the, the second that's one projection of the neuron the tail that is the axon the other projection are these branches here these branches here uh, and these are the dendrites we need to remember that as well dendrites and axons and dendrites are typically the receiving part dendrites would receive signals from other neurons uh, perhaps sense neurons would attach to these and if enough signal uh, is received by by various dendrites then all of that signal it's an electrical signal it builds up in the cell body um, and it, it, the, the, the combined signal received by each of the dendrites is what it's a process called summation some where it's just kind of added together, it's what summation is, to sum them together. And they sum together in the cell body. And if that reaches a certain threshold at the beginning of the axon, this point is actually, there's a mark here called the axon hillock, which marks the beginning of the axon. Uh, if all of that signal builds up to a certain threshold, then the action potential, which is the electrical impulse of the neuron, is unleashed. And it bursts and travels the length of the axon and can then pass the signal on to the next neuron in the sequence or to the next neurons in the sequence. Um, so I uh, hopefully that this has just given you some idea about what neurons are as as neuro as cells specialized to transmit information. In the next video we'll look at the action potential and at synapses how um, those those signals are produced at an atomic level. This is what we find with neurons as we get down to the atomic level. Uh, there are about 100 billion neurons in your brain, um, and obviously there are more than 100 billion things we could perceive. There are more than 100 billion views you could look, find on Earth. You could stand in many, many different places and perceive. Uh, so our brain is capable of producing more than 100 billion perceptions. Um, so it really lies in the interconnectivity between neurons. There are trillion, although there are 100 billion neurons, there are trillions and trillions of connections between neurons. Uh, there's a project underway called the Connectome Project to map these connections in the brain. Um, and it's really this that gives the, the nervous system its processing power, this interconnectivity. I've heard it said, uh, I don't know how much stock to put in it, that, that you could get from any one neuron in the brain to any other with only uh, six neurons in between. That's how connected they all are. Out of 100 billion neurons, that's a high level of connectivity. So that's neurons. We'll get more in detail and look at the action potential in the next video.